it's me Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel whatever you're doing here thank you for being here over the past few months I've been getting a lot of comments from people who want to be figure skaters but have never skated in their life so in this video I'm gonna show you guys some tips on balancing on the ice how to get up when you fall some different things about your blades that you want to know some things about your skates that you want to know and also I'm gonna be teaching you guys two different ways on how to stop some swizzles and some stroking and if you're feeling adventurous I'm gonna be showing you guys a two foot hop so if you want to learn how to figure skate and to get started in figure skating then keep on watching this video my first tip is kind of an obvious one but it is extremely important for your skates to fit you you do not want your feet to be leaning outward or inward while you are trying to skate and if you are wearing rental skates it is more likely for that to happen just try tying your skates in the right way and make sure your skates fit you correctly the two spots I would really recommend trying to tie your skates as tight as you can at is up at the top where I'm showing you right now and also right where your ankle is to support your ankle so they don't go inward or outward in your boots. Now talking about your blades, your blades have an inside and an outside edge and right now I'm showing you guys the outside edge on your blade and then I'm going to show you guys the inside edge. So this right now is the inside edge which you usually want to be on to find your center of balance. Here is a photo with some really good information on it about your inside and outside blades if you were confused about it before. Next we're talking about balancing on those thin thin blades. So my biggest tip for you guys is to not let your blades fall to the outside edge because it is very hard to balance in that position. Squeeze your core muscles which is your whole stomach. Keep your legs shoulder width apart. Once you've got that position down, practice bending your knees and keeping your knees over your toes and also keeping your arms out at all times kind of in front of you so you can catch yourself if you fall. Next we are talking about where you want to be on your blade when you're gliding. So when you are gliding forwards you want to be on the mid to mid back of your blade so the middle to back because if you were on the forward part of your blade you would fall forward. And when you are going backwards you want to be on the mid to mid front so the opposite so you won't slip back because that is never fun to land on your head or your back or something else So always think of where you want to be on your blade because it is very important so you can keep your center of balance Once you found your center of balance on the ice and you can stay upright Try lifting your feet and doing little marches like I'm showing you here Always remember to keep your core tight bend your knees over your toes and also always keep your arms out a little bit in front of you to catch yourself if you slip now we are talking about how to stop so right now I'm showing you guys a snow plow stop so what you want to do is bend your knees and kind of turn them in and stop with the outside part of your blade and you never know if the ice will be on your side or not so always keep your arms out ready to catch yourself and also always keep your center of balance now we are talking about t-stops which is a little bit more advanced than the snowplow stop however this stop is sometimes used in skating routines or programs so it is good to practice it for the t-stop you are going to lift and open whichever leg is more comfortable for you to stop with and make a t out of your feet remember to keep your hips under yourself and bend your knees over your toes keep your body position centered and your arms out in front of you Help me, I've fallen and I can't get up is something we all say on the ice when we fall. Just kidding, but anyway, it is pretty hard to get up because the ice is so slippery. So I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to stand up. So what you're going to do is roll over to your knees and put one leg up and try to push yourself up with your arms and your legs and come up slowly and keep your center of balance and your arms out just in case you slip again. Now that we've got the basics down, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some swizzles. So swizzles are just pushing your legs out and using the inside part of your blade and remember we need to be on the mid to mid back part of our blade because we are going forwards make sure to bend your knees over your toes keep your center of balance and keep your arms in front of you also think of your heels touching your toes so it'd be heel circle toe and now if the front swizzles are a little too easy for you and you need a challenge, you can do back swizzles. And remember, when you are going backwards, you want to be on the mid to mid front of the blade so you don't slip back. So what you want to do is have your toes touch your heels, which is pretty much the opposite of forward. So toe, circle, heel. However, you want the same body position as the forward swizzles and also you want your knees over your toes and your arms still out in front of you to catch yourself. 
When you are ready for a little bit more of a challenge, you can practice some stroking. It is really important for a figure skater to have good stroking because he or she uses it throughout their whole career. Again, when you are stroking, you want to keep your center of balance and keep your core tight, and when pushing off the inside part of your blade, you want to bend your knee over your toe and keep your arms out a little bit in front of you. And make sure your free leg, which is the leg that is up, is straight because it helps you hold yourself and it also looks better. And now for you adventurous people, I'm going to be teaching you guys a two foot hop. I know you guys have heard me say these things a billion times in this video, but always keep your body position centered, your knees over your toes and your arms out ready to catch yourself if you slip on your jump. Once you've got that down, bend your knees and push up and do a little jump. Don't go crazy at first because you never know what will happen, so start small and build yourself up. I just wanted to say something super quick. I get a lot of questions about how old is too old to be able to skate. And I say if you love skating and you have the passion for it, you can start at any age. Skating gives me an extremely amazing and rewarding feeling every day that I think everyone should experience. One more thing I wanted to say is to not get frustrated on the ice if you can't get something right away. Just look at how amazing it is that you are even balancing on slippery ice on extremely thin blades. Just remember that you are amazing and keep practicing what you love. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope to help some of you guys out that want to become figure skaters. I know I always have to think about my body position and where I am on my blade at all times. So if you are a high level figure skater, try to think about everything at all times because it helps so much with your skating. So again, I really hope it helped you guys out that want to become figure skaters. And if you have not already and you would like to, please click that subscribe button and become a member of our happy iKatie family because I love all my little I skate so so much and also if you would like to please thumbs up this video that would be awesome let's try to get this video to 500 likes I know we can do it that would be amazing and also if you haven't already follow me on all my social medias at SKA SKATIE for snapchat Twitter and Instagram as always my PO box is in the description down below if you want to send me a letter or anything like that don't buy me anything but if you want to send me a letter that would be amazing remember you guys are all awesome don't let anybody tell you otherwise I really hope this video helped you out and you get those skating skills. Alright guys, I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye my little ice skates.